Well, hey guys, Lazy here again, and welcome back to the Grass Text tutorial for advanced Photoshop users. Um, this is going to be part two, where we're going to start creating um, the actual grass cutout. So, any without any further action, let's get started. So, we're going to leave off exactly where we left off last time. This is part two, so if you just started watching this, go back to part one, and then you'll be um, exactly where we are now. So last time we left off with um, creating the background, obviously, um, we grouped it up and now we're going to start creating the text. Um, so first thing we're going to do is actually make our text. So use your text tool and um, just make a selection and make sure you pick um, Swiss924BT. Um, it should be installed already. If not, I'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere but I think it's default font so it shouldn't be a problem so um, make your text whatever you want to call it I'm just going to call it grass um, and make the font quite big I'll probably make about 300 um, pixels maybe a bit bigger yeah 300 should do it so now that we've got our font we're going to turn opacity down to about 30% maybe a bit more 40%, no, maybe a bit more, 50%, yeah, that should do it. So now that it's 50%, we'll be able to see our grass texture. So I'll put a download link to this grass texture. Um, it's free to use for commercial use um, under the Creative Commons license. So you can use it for commercial use if you would like to. So now that I've brought in our grass texture, it looks something like this. I'll probably make it a little bit smaller so it just sits over my text. And it's a smart layer again, so I'm just going to create a new layer, select the two, control E to merge, and I'm going to move it under my grass font, like so. I'll probably even make it a little bit smaller. You'll see why in a bit. So now that we've got our stuff set up we're going to select our um, texture layer and we're going to zoom in to where we want to start working with so we're going to use the pen tool um, to go around our font so if you pick your pen tool um, this is a really good um, exercise to if you are not good at the pen tool or you're struggling with it I I'm assuring you that by the end of this tutorial you'll be really good at it because we're going to use this technique on every single letter um, I don't know did you think it was going to be easy it's not so um, it's going to be quite a lot of messy work you need some patience but it does worth it at the end because you'll get a great um, great looking texture um, font so let's get started so we can pick up pen tool and what we're going to do is we're going to trace the letter but at the same time we're going to do it fairly loosely and we're going to pick out separate um, bits of the grass so um, let's say like this bit here so let's get started um, I'm going to start with the G about here and I'm just going to um, leave this bit straight like so and I'm just going to try to find some grass separate grass bits that could pop out so I can see this one right here and I want to include that in my in my font so I'm just gonna come out make a little selection like so where the grass sits and now I'm gonna hold down alt and click that little arm that gets rid of it and now I can um, turn it whatever way I want to and it's not gonna turn with it Again, there is that arm there. So if I wanted to make a straight line now, it would curve round, and I don't want that. So I'm going to hold down Alt again, click that point, and now it gets rid of that arm. So now I can make a selection of however I wanted to. And I'll do that again. Um, I come around here, I can see this little grass that I want to include. So I'm just going to hold down Alt, get rid of that arm, make a um, shape around it down alt click that arm again and now I will include that grass bit in my selection so now I'm just gonna keep going around trying to find bits that I want to include in my design um, there is that quite a big grass bit there that I want to include so I'm just gonna make a selection 
around here and hold down old click that point now I'm going to come back around hold down old click that point so basically that's all you do is you're going around trying to find good grass bits that you could use I can see one here as well that looks pretty cool and I just bring it around again and I'll carry on going around my text trying to find bits and bobs uh, you can spend as much time as you want with this you can spend you know an hour doing this or you can do it very loosely um, and obviously they all will give you good effects but the more time you put into it obviously the better it will be so depending on how much time you have um, you can follow along the tutorial that way so I'm just going to carry on tracing these bits around um, trying to find some good bits to include and also try not to use um, too many straight lines so as you can tell around here if you can see my selection it's all curved so it sort of looks like a grass it's curved it's nicely curved um, so try to avoid only using straight lines because it will give it a different effect again like I said um, I mean yeah it does take a little bit more time because you gotta play around with the curves but at the end it will all worth it so even if the grass looks a bit straight like here as you can tell I'm still curving my lines just because I know that it will give it a better look so again here I'm doing the same thing trying to curve it around just to give it um, a better effect at the end and also as you can tell I'm keep using the holding down alt and keep clicking that point um, so it gets rid of it and that way it gives me a lot more freedom to what I want to do so I'll just carry on trying to find bits and bobs there's one here that I want to include and there's one more here then yeah you just carry on tracing um, like I said you can spend as much time as you want to you can do it really loose or you can be fairly precise and you'll see at the end I mean you can you guys can play around with this in your own time um, to see what effect it has if you just do it really loosely or if you do it um, very detailed um, they both will have different effects and you'll see that in the final result um, once you've finished if it doesn't look right it's probably because you didn't spend enough time tracing around letters uh, you didn't include enough grass bits and so on so it's all depending on how much time you have and so on so I'm just gonna carry on tracing now here because the two letters are fairly close together I don't really want to include any massive bits because it will kind of lose um, a little bit of the readability if I had loads of bits sticking out from here and I had loads of bits sticking out from the R then um, two letters would start to merge together a little bit so I'm constantly thinking about that trying not to um, include too many bits um, it's going to be same thing around here once we go into the G um, so I'm not going to include any grass bits in between these two bits because um, they would obviously lose out a little bit on the readability I mean there's a little bit bigger gap here so I can just include um, a little grass bit here um, that's not too long and that will give it um, just a bit more effect but at the same time we are not sacrificing on the readability issue so I will include this little bit here as well I'm not going to include any on there and I'll just keep carrying on I'll just include a little bit in here um, just so it's not too plain um, and now I'm not going to include any in here like so and now we are finished
So now that we've got our selection, um, if you come into your paths palette, you'll see your path that you made. So we're just going to name this G in case we need to come back to it later. We can uh, add to the path or take away. And then after we got our selection, <coughs> make sure that you have your grass texture layer selected. That I do indeed. And we're also going to duplicate this layer. You can either do it by right click duplicate layer or hold down Ctrl Alt and up arrow. That should duplicate it as well. Well, it doesn't, so I'm just going to go by this. Um, because we're going to use this texture again, obviously. So I'm just going to right click, make sure that I got my texture selected, make selection, uh, fed the radius zero pixels. Now we got our selection around our text. Now I'm just going to come up to select inverse. And now I can delete everything else. If it works. Yes, it does indeed. I just got to turn this off. And now you can see that here is our cutout. You can do the rest of the um, text by yourself. I'm not going to bore you by going through every single letter. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Also, make sure you guys leave a comment, like, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.